Uh, well, how many of you know about Mario? And by Mario, I mean the Italian plumber with the red hat and the overall. That guy. Uh, well, being a video game buff, I had gone through the internet, big surprise, and several gaming magazines to bring you all the information on the evolution of Mario. This that I present to you is his evolution from Donkey Kong, which some of you may remember, or not, but and to um, a Super Smash Bros. <coughs> Brawl, which is really uh, uh, we'll go with main points, who is Mario? His history and him today. Yeah, Mario was uh, created originally uh, by um, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Yes, uh, some Japanese guy from Japan here. <laughs> and voiced by a guy called Charles uh, uh, Mar Martine. Amazingly enough, his was the only, uh, this guy uh, was the only audition tape from Sam Mario's voice. And <coughs> was originally called Jumpman in Donkey Kong, but since Shigeru or Norwalto didn't think that would go over well with the Americans, he was trying to think of a new game. And while in a conference meeting, uh, his landlord busted in wanted to pay the rent, and that guy's name was Mario. Uh, <laughs> pardon that. And basically, Mario is a plumber who, um, uh, main job is to save a princess from an evil demon fire breathing turtle called Bowser. And basically, you're him doing what he does best. This is not Bowser, but I have to be aware. Mm Okay, basically Mario's history. Started out in 1981 with Donkey Kong, where basically he was all started out as a carpenter, <laughs> not a plumber, trying to save uh, his girlfriend from a big date called uh, Donkey Kong. <laughs> then uh, when the NES came out, uh, he uh, actually turned him into a plumber and he changed uh, into the what was actually a red overall, so a brown shirt. And then Mario, t Super Mario Bros. 2 was actually a um, uh, knock off, knock off of another of a Japanese game, which included different characters, and didn't involve him taking out Bowser, which they went back to in Mario Bros. 3, in which he actually did tame suits, which actually let him swim and fly. Of course, flying doesn't look like a raccoon, but swimming doesn't look like a frog. Then they had uh, compete with Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog. They came out with a Super NES and Super Mario Bros. World, which amazingly enough sold more than the entire first two Sonic games in mind. And then, of course, to deal with Sony PlayStation 2 in 1996, they, um, uh, they made the um, uh, N64, which uh, included Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 64, which first started him talking and had the first of the ca uh, motion, motion camera to go out people to your uh, better view. Then there was also Paper Mario, which is a little first RPG, which had 3D and the 2D things, which was amazingly appealing. And then this one right here was from the first GameCube game featuring him, which was Super Mario Bros. Sunshine, which uh, didn't be the uh, And then 
and that's and then he's also on my gun to various party games, like Mario Party, which is a bunch of four the multiplayer games with the formula. <laughs> which has only many games and then there's and then also the sports games, which is on my <coughs> baseball, soccer and all that other thing. And then Mario Today is when the Wii came out and it started in Super Mario uh, Galaxy, which was an amazing expansion on 3D graphics and camera angles that really sold out well. And then this form right here, 2008, was Super Smash Bros. Raw, which was another installment into the one where Nintendo characters bash the heck out of each other. <laughs> and let's see, that one. Yeah, to, to today, he's pretty much just the same as he was back then, except now he's synonymous with video games. And amazingly enough, he also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> and that's pretty much what Mario is like in the gaming world. The review, he was created by Shigeru Morimoto to sell Donkey Kong, who then became the face of Nintendo's gaming industry. Achieved fame and has appeared in many other games since. Has become a worldwide icon and continues to entertain the masses. Uh, Mario will always remain an example of these times how gaming can be a pure fun experience. A uh, note by the IGN presents the history of Mario by Russell Kwan. In a cynical world full of totally destructible environments and BFGs of blood soaked hack and slash, Mario is the eternal optimist. Nothing is insurmountable. It can be done. You can't have fun doing it. And that's it.